Welcome back to Learn MoGraph, and today we're going to be taking a look at how you can take a flat two-dimensional image and add some depth to it using an update to the CC Ball Action plugin in After Effects 2024. We're going to start by creating a new composition. We're going to go to Composition, New Composition, and we'll just call this CC Ball Action Main. And we're going to be using our AE Juice Pexels Photos plugin, which allows you to search the Pexel Photo database and import photos directly into After Effects without having to leave the application. So I think I'm just going to search for Highway. So we have a similar image to the example. Maybe change this to Aerial. Okay, and we got a couple different shots that would work well here. I really like this photo, so I'm just gonna select that and click import. And that imports it directly into our composition. Now, for this effect to work properly, we need to first pre-compose this image. So we're gonna press Command-Shift-C or Control-Shift-C if you're on a PC. And we're going to pre-compose this choosing Move All Attributes into a New Composition. And we'll just rename this PC Highway Comp 1. Now we can select our pre-comp and we can add our CC ball action effect. I'm using a plugin here called FX Console. It's made by Video Copilot, and I'll link that down in the description. It allows you to quickly access all of your effects and presets just by pulling up a quick command window and searching for it. So we found our CC ball action, and we're going to add that to our photo. And right away, you see we get this cool little pixelated look but we're going to be taking a specific look at these new displacement options that were added to CC Ball Action. And in order to really see this effect, we need to add a camera. So I'm gonna press Command Option Shift C on my keyboard or Control Option Shift C if you're on a PC. And we're just gonna call this a camera. And we're gonna change this to a two node camera and press okay. Now we can go up to our camera controls here and just select the Orbit Around Cursor tool. And we're just gonna turn this so we can see it as a plane. Right now, it's just a flat plane of an image. So we're gonna go back to our PC highway comp, and we're gonna change some of our ball action settings here. We're going to change the grid spacing down to zero. I'm gonna change the ball size up to something like 150. I'm gonna change coloring to crisp, shading to 100. And down in displace, we're gonna change this to something like 25. And right away, you see that takes our image and just kind of extrudes it. So from the side, it just kind of looks like a whole bunch of mountains. But if you look from the top, you can see that it's taken the brightness levels and it's used those as displacements. So all of our white areas of our image are brought up higher than all of the darker areas of our image that are in the green and yellow family. Just gonna undo so we can get back to our regular view here. And we're gonna change our displace property from brightness to saturation. And that makes it look a little bit more manageable. So we see that our trees are some of the higher areas of our images. The, the yellow trees really stand out here, but our darker areas where our road is and where the ground is, is almost down at the ground plane. Next thing we're going to do so we can see how this works in 3D space is we're just gonna change our rotation to the Z axis. And now we can take this and we can rotate our image and we have a cool 3D scene that didn't take all that much work and that runs pretty smoothly without having to bring this into something like Blender or Cinema 4D and build and extrude something to get that 3D look. There's also plugins like Trapcode Form where you can upload an image or an OBJ and get sort of a wireframe look of your image. But for something that's just nice and quick, this works great. And we can get different effects on the displacement if we change this to something like green. So the more green something is, or the less green something is, the higher it goes. Change this to radius, and that just kind of makes a bulge. Diamond, again, you get a, start to get a diamond shape here. If you really crank up the displacement, you can see the effect that has. And you can change this to RGB where it displaces a different amount in a different direction depending on the value of each of the individual pixels. But we're going to leave this on saturation because that does a pretty good job right there. And we can change our camera position, kind of zoom in here. And we can add some animation to this. And you can see that our road is kind of 
bumpy and doesn't look all that great. So a way to fix that is if we go into our pre-comp here and we just add a mask around our road. And it doesn't have to be super detailed. You can go roughly around where the road is. We're gonna press M on our keyboard to bring up our mask properties and we're gonna change this to subtract. And we're also going to twirl down more of our mask properties and we're just gonna feather this out a bunch. So it just comes in to cover where the road is. Now, if we go back to our main composition, you can see that it's all taken out there, but the feathering is gone. So if we go back into our composition here and we're gonna select our layer and we're gonna add an effect called solid composite. I'm gonna change this from white to black. Now when we go back into our main composition, the feathering is all back in place, but our road is missing. So the next step would be to duplicate our layer here and also duplicate it in our project panel. And if we press Command Option or Control Option Alt Backslash on our keyboard, it swaps out our layer source and we can go back in here and change our mask from subtract to intersect. If we go back to our ball action main and change our displacement on our new layer down to zero. And we can blend these two layers using a free effect also by Video Copilot called VC Color Vibrance. And if we go down to matte alpha, we're just gonna change this to only. And that seamlessly blends our nice smooth looking road with the rest of the 3D environment. So this has been a quick tutorial, quick update on the new CC Ball Action plugin in After Effects 2024. And I also wanna shout out to Tutorials Plus, which gave me the idea for this tutorial. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and don't forget to hit that bell notification so you're notified of all of our new videos as we post them.